Welcome back. Temperatures tonight going to be in the 30s overnight. So very cool tonight. 38 is the low, mostly clear skies. We're going to see those breezy conditions out of the northeast with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Those breezy conditions will continue through tomorrow as well with a high of only 67. So those cooler temperatures are going to continue. Looks like the overnight lows for Thursday are going to be the coolest, getting close to freezing with uh, lows in the 30s. Today's high was 64, a low of 53. So well above average with that high for this time of year, usually at 75. So we're going to continue with those cooler temps until we hit the weekend. Then we're going to get back up into the low 80s. Right now in Spokane, 61 degrees. Winds moving north at 17 miles per hour. Coeur d'Alene uh, not reading right now, so it looks like that's out right now. But those winds uh, still fairly strong at north, northeast, 21 to 28 miles per hour. Taking a look at the U.S. satellite radar, you can see those very strong storms moving through the Midwest right now now have triggered some tornado watches for Indiana and Ohio here in the northwest. We're dealing with our own severe weather. Uh, central Montana under some winter storm warnings right now this evening. They're going to continue seeing those overnight, expecting up to three inches of snow, if you can believe it. That's due to this low pressure system that's dropping down from Canada, bringing us those cooler temperatures to Spokane and then those chances of snow to Montana. We're going to continue seeing those cooler temperatures through tomorrow and breezy conditions. Now that has triggered a red flag warning for much of uh, or for parts of the region tonight for OMAC because of those breezy conditions. We may see gusts up to 30 miles per hour and low relative humidity. That's until tomorrow night at 8 p.m. It's going to be followed actually by a freeze warning that starts at 11 p.m. Thursday night through 11 a.m. on Friday. That's for a lot of the region, a lot of Idaho, a lot of western Montana. That's because temperatures overnight are going to be in the low 30s, some areas even in the upper 20s. So it's going to be cold overnight. This is the time to cover up your plants because it's going to get chilly out there. And as we head through the week, temperatures are going to start coming back up Friday. 73 is the high, but you can see overnight low tomorrow, 37 degrees for Spokane. And that's one of the higher ones, I can tell you. We're looking at those lows uh, in the low 30s overnight. And then we do have some chances of isolated mountain showers tonight just off of that system moving over Montana. That may affect the Northeast Mountains and Northern Panhandle of Idaho this evening. So just some slight chances of isolated mountain showers. And then as we head into the weekend, it's going to be beautiful again. We're going to be in the 70s Saturday and Sunday and then back into the Ooh. 80s as we head through next week and sunny skies. Mm -hmm. So cooler temperatures, but sunny skies and those overnight lows. Yeah, watch out for those, but they're temporary. Yes, so. temporary. I would just say it's time to cover up those plants. Yeah.